Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Void. I'm Player One, and welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles. Last time was quests. This time is quests. You know how this already works. We're on what? Like the 20-something questing episode? There is a lot of quests in this game. But we're here to do them. So I have two right now uh, accepted from last time from Colony 6, and they require items from Valak Mountain. So we're going to uh, we're going to head here for the first time on on camera. I went here before so I could level up Colony 6 to level 3, but wow. Here is your first um your first taste of it. Why are some of the nighttime areas so sexy? That's all that's the only word I could use to describe this. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh. You want to see what daytime looks like? This is what daytime looks like. So safe to say, we're going to always be nighttime here. Alright, let's go get the stuff now. So... Okay, I think... Yeah, I think we can just go from this one. From the hollow bone. Yeah, don't worry about nothing else right now. We're not clearing this area just yet. We're just getting stuff we need. Going right back to... Colony 6 after this. Oh, my favorite item, a wet rat. Mmm. Yeah, I, I do that when I'm walking around. I find a wet rat and I decide to pick it up. Mm-hmm. Also, I'm rocking Dunban because I looked. Dunban has the worst affinity out of all the party members. Like, he's green with Shulk and then yellow with everyone else. So Dunban needs a little bit of a little bit of love at the moment. This and this. Soaring Tempest. And then with a war swing. And then Ricky can do something. How? Okay, well, here we go. All right, now, did we get one of the things we need? I already forget what we needed, but did we get it? It's looking like a no. What did we need to get? Two soya paste shells from Entma Kings. Okay. Well, there's another one right up here. Yeah, I won't jump around just yet, because you haven't seen Valak Mountain yet, and it's pretty damn cool. No mercy. 
see. Born in a world of strife. Against the odds. We choose to fight. Blossom dance. This is going to take a while, isn't it? Oh no. At least I only need two. What else do I need to get? Where? Where? Ooh. Up there. Only up there. Okay, I guess I'm not getting that right now. Let me go for this one. Please don't give me a drop from this thing. I don't think I got it. Ah, uh, oh wait, no, there we go. All right, we got one. And then there's one all the way over here. Please drop it, so I don't have to do this again. What the hell is that thing? A Mora Mora. Why are we dazed? Get up! Alright, now please, please be it. Yes! Alright, there's one down. Now I need to go get, um, whatever these are. What are these? Three Pogul Cold Pies. Which are all the way over there. What would be the quickest way, I th think, this way? I think this way would be the, the quickest. Also, this is a secret area. The Befalger Pedestal. I think this might has to do with the the super overarching uh, giant quest. I'm trying to decide the quickest way here. I think this is. Also, 
Yeah, slippery, slippery ice is here, and you can't walk up it. So that's just kind of like a natural barrier. Tiny path. I want to get down there. That'll definitely kill me, though, right? Oh. Steady yourself, Dunban. Okay. This should not be fine. Now we go this way into this little tiny area, which is apparently is the only place these fools spawn. Or, you know, the only place they spawn that I've gone to. In fact, let me see. Lower. Okay, so there's a bunch of them over all the way over there, but that's that's past the cutscene, so can't go there yet. There's five of them here. I need three. I should be... Yeah, right? Should be able. Alright, that looks like one already. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, there's two. Okay. I just need one more. Come on, you weird crabbies. What the hell is that thing? Why- why'd you get over here? Oh, drop the silver chest. Okay, that's it. Very nice. There we are. <laughs> uh, it's very nice that each party combination has a unique dialogue. I like that very much. Alright, back to Colony 6. Let's turn these in. So I believe we have to talk to Poka Poka and Makrish. And they are both daytime. Chris should be. Oh, we don't talk to McCrish. We talked to. Right, because we're trying to make H Hoko. Hoka? Hoko's food. This is it? Friends have done well. Hoka Poka will go to Talneth right away and get him to cook it. <laughs> Hoka Poka cannot wait. Tasty takeout in my tum tum. Give me now while it's yum yum. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Ah, delightfully delicious. It tastes succulent, savory, sweet, and scrumptious. And a bit weird. Poka Poka want more. Well, you're gonna have to do that. Poka Poka has a reward, but not food this time. Poka Poka does not want to share this special taste with you. Okay, dickhead. Days resist. Eh. Alright, there's that one. Now, uh, this is a Rhine quest, so I believe I have to be Rhine. Hello? Hoko. Hoko. You find ingredient! Woo wee! Hold on while Hoko make food. Ta da! 
Hoko very happy to make food from old days. Hoko even feel like making smelly food is more fun. Whatever you say, you're the boss. Lately, Hoko make food that all customers like. That's how Hoko stay in business. But then Hoko not make food that Hoko want to make. Which way is right way? Which way is wrong way? Beats me. Haven't got a clue. But friend look impatient, so I say friend just pick answer now. Hoko can't decide for himself. Hmm. What would be a better option here? Hmm. I wonder. I'm pretty sure it's the food you want to make. Let me just make 100% certain. Oh. Ma oh. Make food your customers like is actually better. Oh, okay. Alright. Friend is right. Customer gets what customer wants. Hoko will keep making food that customers enjoy eating. Hoko must get customers back before he changes mind. Sorry, McCrish. That's how to cook it crumbles. Has Hoko gone back to its roots? Does this food taste like it used to? And I shall use all my remaining strength to sample it once more. Yep, it's done. Go enjoy yourself, lady. It was all that I had hoped. However, Hoko told me he could never again make that taste. I so wish we could turn back time to when he first arrived. A place for just me and my hero, Hoko. What friend to eat today? Same again, he would say. Cheer up. I'm sure there's loads of places that serve rubbish food, lady. That reminds me. I heard you spoke to him on my behalf. Well, yeah, kinda. Thank you kindly. Your impatience helped Hoko have a change of heart. It was but one meal, but twas a meal to remember forever. Is that a compliment? If you had shouted at him, would he have made me more? One cannot dwell on the past. What are you getting at, lady? You are strange, Holmes, and an easy one to tease. I understand Hoko must do what he must to survive as a chef. That is enough for me. I have decided to cook food which suits my own tastes. Thank you for your help, but I've got some recipes I want to try. Until we meet again, farewell. Huh. Well, yeah, there you go. Krish is making her own food. Got that, and we've got... Ryan's Impatience skill branch. Not eating. Not tasty. That's the better option? Huh. Alright, well, let's see what, uh, what Ryan's new skill trees get. Impatience. Boosts Mad Taunt's effect. Grants haste when an enemy is defeated. Mm. Chance of a double attack. Haste when an attack misses. Fills Talon Gauge when damage is taken. That does seem pretty good. Yeah, might as well just switch off right now. And back to Dunbun. And now... I'm not sure how we get the next ones to trigger. I don't know if we have the next ones yet. So this is what it says. It says there's one from Berry Jammy or McCrish that says it's the, um, it's like a
either person gives the quest. But it does say three and a half affinity, and I guess I don't know if we have that. Yeah, because there's McCrish, and she doesn't, she doesn't have it, so... I guess we can't do those yet. Huh. Well, let me see if I can do a little, little cheeky, little cheeky, um, talking to people to raise affinity. I will be right back. I got this one. Poka Poka and Talonith. Unrivaled chef. I have figured out how to get the, um, the next quest. I had to talk to Barry Jammy, and she said she's fighting with McCrish. And now they're competing. And now I can, um, I can do the next quest. So, so that's what was missing. But let me just go talk to Perrine real quick, just to see if she has something. What is it? What is it? Okay. So, yeah, you now have the same quest. You can accept it from Barry Jammy or McCrish, and the rewards are basically identical, so it doesn't matter who you accept it from. So, since I'm right here, I guess I'll accept it from, from Barry Jemmy. Barry Jemmy been waiting for friends for ages and ages. Friends need to find most transparent object in world. Quick, go, hurry up, run, move. Did friends find it already? Barry Jemmy, very unlucky. Now I mixed up in competition. Competition for title of undisputed Miss Sweetness of Colony 6. Now I need most transparent item in whole wide world to win. Hmm. Barry Jammy not interested in who best in colony. Barry Jammy represent all Nopon though, so cannot abstain. Barry Jammy need friends help. Please. Barry Jammy make sure she represent all Nopon well. Ricky's friends will help Barry Jammy win competition. Thank you, friends. Barry Jammy do the Nopon proud. Ah, Ricky not able to decide on his own. Ricky talk to friends and we decide together. Please. Miss Sweetness Showdown. <laughs> he called him the Hero Home. <laughs> Barry Jemmy not know about any transparent items, but I think it's a good idea to visit Lollapod Frontier Village. And that gets two quests, actually. Okay, so let's go see Lollapa. man. He is right here. Very nice. Friends looking for most transparent object in world? Hmm. Nope, an adventurer who go to Valak Mountain. Wait, he not adventurer, tea researcher now. Anyway, he know most about what you need, but researcher Nopa not come back for a long, long time. Search for him hard enough and maybe you find him alive. Might not though. Lalapa must apologize. He not know anything helpful. No, that's that's fine, man. That's okay. I don't know what quest you have, but we're not doing it yet. I guess we gotta Melia died, oh my god. I guess now we gotta go to the Cuckoo on Valak Mountain. That is an that is an entirely new man. Where could he be? Does it say? Does it say? 
No, I gotta, I gotta go in the place for it to, to say. Where is the cuckoo? All right. Oh, he's, he's right here. He's at the Nopon camp. What's good, man? Most transparent thing in the world. I know. How about pure ice flower? It grows near here. It's covered in ice, so really transparent and really beautiful. Thank you, the cuckoo. And now he's on the now he's on the chart. He's right there. I yeah, I guess he would be part of Upper Bionis if he's here. Pure ice flower. Near Earl Crevance. Where? Here. Okay, it's a place I haven't gone, but I, it looks like I can go there, so let's go. Just gotta go this way. Hmm. Oh no. Eh, I can fight him. I can fight him. Oh my god, Gunman's gonna die. Oh no. The enemies are actually- oh. Apparently we need Silver Lexos hearts. Raxet become like Homs? Well, just need one more of those. Didn't even- didn't even know I needed that. Okay, it's up there. But- how do how how do there's no climb bits it it says that that's like a connecting but it wasn't it was a different like level of hmm I'll be right back when I figure it out. I believe I have found the entrance. It is it is right here. That's the little spring we were just at. How did I miss this? Anyway, here we go. The Earl Provence. Crystal. Not much here. There we go. And we got the little ice flower thingy. Frozen flower, transparent, light glass. And that's that. Nice, Melia. And now we go back to Little Barry Jammy.
And luckily it uh, turned nighttime exactly when I needed it to. Here you are. Friends bring item to me. Barry Jammy was sure friends give me fake item or worse. Afraid friends give item to Barry Jammy's tall, elegant rival. Thank you, friends. Barry Jammy hate bullying and love medicine and like friends. Me think me weird. But Barry Jammy so pleased friends choose her to give item to. That's more important to me than winning stupid competition. Oh. The undisputed Miss Sweetness of Colony 6 is thanks to you. There you are. Oh, and now they're on a, a ceasefire. Huh. There you go. And I believe that's as much as we can do right now. I believe so. Let me just check once and for all. Because there is one more or like two more Miss Sweetness quests, but yeah, we need four star affinity, and we do not have four star affinity. So I believe that's as much as we can do at the moment. Actually, I didn't finish checking if I could get any stray affinities. So let me just go ahead and do that really quick. Okay, so I went ahead, I got all the ones I could get, and we're still not four stars. So I think, I think I have to end it there. Yeah, the ones I got, Arda thinks that Talonuth is an excellent chef. Poka Poka thinks these two are both unrivaled chefs. Um, Matriona mistrusts Werner. Mm-hmm. And I think that's it. We don't have the people yet for Nopalric or for Yura. And there's others that just require more story progress. Look at this. That, that, uh, that Alchemoth section is hurting me. But that's because we haven't done the Alchemoth quests yet. Which I think we will do next time. I believe. Got all the Colony 6 ones done. Yeah, we got a lot of Alchemoth ones. Although we do have ones we could do in Frontier Village. I think I'll do the Frontier Village ones. But with that, I'll end it there. I've been Player One, and I'll see you next time. When we, when we keep going with the quests, when we just keep going. All right. Bye-bye.